Okay, this is a video on how to do an oil change on your, what kind of car is this? Volkswagen, what is Atlas Cross Sport. Atlas Cross Sport. Look, so what we did was we pulled this out just to let the air breathe, then we took off the top so that it could all drip out the bottom. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like underneath this car right now. So we're gonna to have to take this little bottom thing off because it's in the way. You, you don't wanna be laying on your back while you're doing this. Although, Look at this tool. If you have a DeWalt 20 volt tool, you can do it very quickly. That's a lot of screws. Okay. There's two bigger ones here. They look like they're a T30, T45. The reveal. Here it is. Oh, one more. Oh, there's one more and it's completely hidden. It's up there. You see it? It looks like it's a T25. There it is, right in there. In case you didn't know, now you do. Now, if you don't know where your oil drain plug is located, it's right here. So you're gonna wanna loosen that. There's probably an oil filter in here too. So here is the oil filter housing here. So you can use a oil filter wrench. Look, that's dirty. Somebody did a dirty job last time. Anyhow, we'll see what tool he uses. Looks like it's dirty. The drain of the oil filter. Oh look, there's an oil filter drain that you use a uh, Allen key. Six mil. Six mil. Six mil. You loosen that. And you share the oil drift pan underneath both. This is a trick that we learned in automobile school. Once that stops dripping, then you can remove it with a 36? We're gonna find out. Okay, don't forget to tighten the thingy up before you... It's um, called Guten tight. No, don't, don't call it about torque wrenches, blah, blah, blah. I tightened thousands and thousands of these. Check don't out Don't tell me that I need to use a torque wrench. It's called Guten tight. It's from experience. Armchair warriors, do not call in. Do not write it. Prepare for mess. Prepare for mess. The reveal. Prepare for mess. No mess. The drain worked that time. So that's what it looks like inside your oil area. Okay, so now you put your little thing back in there, the oil filter, and then you gotta make sure it fits in there nicely. Oh, look. Put it in the same way it came out. It doesn't fall out. Push that up there. Do it hand tight all the way up to the top there. And then, uh, I need a torque wrench. Uh. You don't need to go tight. You just need to get the, the thingy in there. It's really just, it's just a little, you can see it stop. When it gets to the top, it stops and it's tight. No need to torque anything. Then we clean it off, make it look pretty. Oh, okay, so you gotta torque this to exactly, no, I'm kidding. Just put that on, tighten it. You should know, it's tight enough. Should. Slide this in there. The little tongue, don't forget to put the little screw in because you want to do that one first most of the time because otherwise nothing's going to match up. But we put the big guys in first and then the little guys. Once you have the bottom all closed up, you're going to want to add some oil to your car. This particular vehicle takes, I would guess, five quarts of oil. How many quarts of oil does it take? So we have about five quarts we're five adding in 5.8. Yes, 5.7, and then we look at it now a little more. Let's go. All right, can you get into the vehicle and we'll start the vehicle? Okay, check this out. And so that's that on the Atlas. It's ready to go. Oil change is done.